All right, so we are gonna show you what a low back treatment looks like in the office today. So we got Dr. Rose here. He's the newest addition to Functional Spine and Sport. He has been studying quite a bit for his final part of boards so he can get licensed and start practicing and doing what we're doing here in the office. So what I'm gonna show you today is how we go about treating patients who come in with their worst test being a low back test. So Dr. Rose has been noticing some stiffness and pain right across his low back region, mainly with extending back, but also throughout the day when he's standing quite a bit. So can you go ahead and reproduce that symptom for us, please? It's right there. Okay. So he's noticing pain right across his low back. What does it feel like? Dull, achy. Okay, dull, achy pain on a scale of one to 10? About four. Okay. So four out of 10 dull achy pain. So what we're gonna do now is measure his low back test. So I'm gonna have you come on to all fours for me, please. So what this is gonna show for us is how his low back is actually flexing. So what we wanna see in this test is about an inch and a quarter flat. So you can see Dr. Rose is flat from zero inches all the way up to four inches. And then when I try to round the ruler, it's not moving or not flexing until about four and a half, four and a quarter inches. And then it rounds at the very top. So that would grade as a 60% low back test. So now we're gonna treat it. So what we're starting with here is the ligaments that run across the top of the spine. And we're scanning for the worst area of adhesion. So the instrument I'm using is instrument adhesion release. This is the only instrument on the market designed to break down fibrous adhesion. So his worst spot is right there. So that's where we're gonna focus our treatment. We're not gonna worry about treating any of the healthy tissues around this area because we want our treatment to be very effective and beneficial for the patient. Flex up a bit more. Good. As we start to get some redness in the tissue, that's all that tissue can handle today. We don't want to beat this tissue up and cause even more inflammation in the area. So now we're going to check all the big low back muscles. Stand up. So now I'm feeling for the worst spot of adhesion in the low back muscles. I'm gonna take my time through this and focus on what the tissue is telling me. Is the muscle compressing like it's supposed to or is it not? So I'm gonna go through the left side and the right side. So I know there's spots here. I'm gonna compare this with the right side. The right side already feels significantly worse just in this one strip of tissue. It looks like the right side is gonna be the side we're gonna treat. So a lot of adhesion right through this area with the worst spot being right here. So that's where we're gonna start our treatment. Go ahead and drop all the way down for me. So this treatment is called manual adhesion release. So I'm putting tension into the adhesion to break the adhesion down. Good. Drop down. That's the only thing that will break adhesion. If you try to massage or rub on it, it's not gonna go away at all. You need to 
break it down through tension only. Go. And there's quite a bit in there. And that's all that he's going to be able to handle today. So what we're going to do is remeasure our test. Stand up. So we treated the two worst spots of adhesion, one in the ligament and then one in the muscles on the right side of the low back. So we were about four and a quarter inches flat, which is equaling 60% function. So we're going to flex up, see what kind of change we made. So starting at the same spot, a really good change. So now we're flat down to about three and a quarter inches. And it's rounding even sooner. So that's about 75, 80% function now. Really, really good change. Okay, go ahead and stand up. And then retest that. So he's going way further for one, he's <laughs> smiling for another. What are you noticing? It's better there, that's there, it's maybe a one. Okay, so still a dull ache? Yeah, but like I said, barely there. Cool, so it was a picky. Four out of 10 to start, he's being picky and it's barely there. So huge, huge real world changes in terms of what he came in with. We reduced that symptom by getting rid of the adhesion and made his back flex more. Thanks for watching.